Welcome to One Way, where we go one way, and that's west. After we do this. Anyway, I saw there was a bit of progress here. I want to see what's been going on. Remember, this is the laundromat I like to go to, but it had a fire. This seems to be a bit of progress. Well, we got a drop ceiling, which makes sense because the roof is kind of leaky. They replaced the dryer. Yeah, definitely those dryers have been replaced. Got a nice new floor. That's beautiful. I like that. Is that dry? No, it's not drywalled. Although, maybe the change... Yeah, the change thing has been because there was a hole in the center, which you could see an original window. Um, I don't think they dry well. They just repainted. Yeah, that's still beadboard. And of course, the they're gonna put the machines back once they get this done. But yeah, I'd say it's coming along. I'm hoping someday soon we get to do our stuff here again. Uh, and I'm trying to think. And the only other time we'll use that other laundromat is if this place is full because it's tiny. It just takes two people with large loads and you can't use the place. But that's very rare. I'm hoping to come back here someday. But right now, it's the Thursday push. Let's get going. Alrighty, after checking the laundromat, we've set this up. we got so much obsidian on us that if... This is over a lava lake, which we were kind of approaching. Then it's over a lava lake. Well, let's see if we make any progress. We did store some stuff away previously. Four fifty-seven. I would like to see where I'm at. Not in a... Uh, and we're going in the right direction. We like that. But, not much forward progress. No. Okay, we can move. I like doing that. All right, a little more this way. So basically, let's go over things. This is done on a phone. I will have to move the move around scratching and clawing the screen to move. You might hear the speakers slash microphone being covered, brushed against, so you get that quick annoying wind whip sound. I don't know what you would call it. So, yeah. so what we'll do is we'll just it does seem almost rather useless doing this in terms of gains, but remember that every block in the overworld, we need to move eight in order to move one down here. So, if we're in a bad environment, which we technically kind of um, might be, we'll go up one. And yeah, we could go that there. So I mean, we are making some forward progress. I'm just hoping that there's no sudden lava. So you know, we move around. Try not to hold the thing in a way to block the speakers and microphones. And like I said, we're gonna ultimately wind up doing that anyway because certain moves require it. And we are saving a little bit on the file size by taking it up, you know, going this way. goes nowhere. Mm. 
I'm not hearing too much. Well, now I'm starting to hear stuff. What the heck was that? Oh, I see the... It changed to red, so we're now in the, uh... Oh. There was a bit of red. We were in the, uh... Oh, what? You know, I keep forgetting the name of the biomes here. And, yeah, hit the right button. Maybe we'll do something right. That can help a little bit. All right, so what I'm going to do temporarily is put the bread in that slot. And if we truly need to, we can still have, we have another three diamonds so we can make another pickaxe. I hear Enderman, so I mean, I'm be getting close to land. Ah, here we go. Problem. What we need to do is. Temporarily place that there. I am. Not wearing my gold. Yeah, we can change that. We can. We can change that. How about. Let me change that. There we go. Not thrilled that I was not allowed to change that. Should be okay at this point. See, I'm not going to trust this. It might break as soon as I need it. Yeah, we can move. We can move. We can move. We can move. Movement is required. Oh, they can get there. Yeah, we can block. We can block. Can move. All right, so we can break. There we go. Should be relatively safe at this point. Now to head over to the sides. That, that little bit did help. And another thing why well, I won't hear as much talking as normal is it is it appears that my neighbors would like to be really loud. Suddenly, if I make any noise, they're complaining and threatening to call the cops. So I'm not going to 
talk really quiet. And I'm not gonna I'm try and not get overly excited and which yeah that's kind of hard to do it. Uh oh. Oh, that's rare. A, a two-block piece of lava there. That was a weird thing that ever happened. Alright, we're almost lined up. And we're, we've got escape. We also don't have movement. Well, more movement. I don't know if I might be pressing my luck here. But I'm going to try and keep going a little bit longer. I think we're more than high enough. Also, what I'm going to do is we can... Now we'll switch it over because it's not life or death. What we might do is when this one breaks, we might just... Maybe we might just... Oh, good. I'm not sure. that one. Now let's just take this one to a certain extent and We got enough of the stuff, so. Alright, so in two right there, I believe. So then we grab the obsidian, place a bed there, place that there. I believe I may have abandoned the workbench, which is not the biggest deal in the world. I always make another one of those. Yeah, we kind of... Okay, we can move. Since we got this cliff, let's dump, 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 dump. Oh, we got it here. So we'll put that there for now. Dump, dump. Dump, dump, dump. Here we go. We can move the player. Now move the player again. Get ready to plop a bed. Let's see where we wind up. Which way is this? This way. Yep, we can move. Alright, back to the overworld. And Dave Grohling. Anyway, let's just make sure everything's all nice and safe. Make sure the sky's not getting dark. Because 
Right, that can go there. This this can be swapped out. We definitely need beds. And we're accidentally throwing that away. Yeah, we can leave that there. That's okay. Well, for a minute I thought I saw a weird structure. It wouldn't I know it wouldn't be a village. But it was something really weird looking. So 930, that's not bad, we started at 927. So we want to get to 937 and with that that trip in the nether, it should be very easy. And for once, a trip to the nether without something going horrendously wrong. Yeah, it wasn't perfect, but we did okay. This flat line really does help. And as of this recording, in about 11 days, November 30th, 2021, 118 is supposed to release, which means, I don't know, a little more variety, a little harder to get places because you'll have big mountains. And if, and on, uh, I'll check it on here, but I don't think these striped lands are going to go in, go away anytime soon because it's a 32 bit game and 32 bits kind of. Kind of limited as to uh, your accuracy versus 64 bits, which seems like not much of a difference. But yeah, a lot of precision. I'll take you know our normal base 10. If I have a number 100, you know it could be like 100 blocks. Let's say in base 10, you know how 100 what 100 blocks is. But then I add another digit, suddenly that last digit with a one would be a thousand. And a thousand blocks versus a hundred blocks is a significant difference, ten times. In the land of the binary, it's double. The accuracy is double. And you gotta go ridiculously far before things mess up. Alrighty, so. And hopefully they'll have the ability to make a boat that stays a boat when you're done boating. The boat. Okay, you can stay there. Actually, we're going to swap out with that because dirt's kind of important. Especially when we put some cliffs. Alright. Right. Don't want to be near the water edge right now. I'm going to go this way. Okay, there's an island. Or it's actually land land. That's okay. So we made a pretty decent jump.
Ooh. Our book still exists. We like that. Well, it's... When we get to a million, that'll be... That'll be an amazing milestone. And... We still have... 48... Five something in before we hit the next, uh, you know, the bef before the floating point floats to another position and the accuracy goes down even more. I'm, my hunch is that it is going to, I will, in the east and west, move only four times per block. I think my character is able to make is moving eight times per block. So when we're dead on like this, it's really hard to see the math error. When we get to a point where it's we take four steps per block instead of nice and smooth it'll start to show up. One thing I wish that, that the game didn't have was an issue with player size as the world goes on because big jump, big fail. Because for each mathematical error, there's also You also have a limit as to how small something can be and not fall through the world. Checking the sky to make sure. See that it's getting dark. Because there's going to obviously be a point we need to put a bed down. Mm. Took a risk there. It wasn't a big risk, but there was still a chance that I could have hit the lip of the land and. Uh, Maybe not have survived. Ooh, planes. You can also stop bouncing off every little corner. Yes. I don't like the mountains that I'm looking at right now. Mountains bad. Things aren't mountains, but are climbable good. And over here. It helps a little bit. Did I fall or did I take random damage, which this game is known, Bedrock is well known for doing. Did I come out just as the day cycle began? I had a long time without having to use a bed. And this looks like we're going to have to... Uh, Move. Yeah, you can eat. Yeah, I was gonna say it's been a while, but 
The sun's starting to set. It ain't quite there yet. All right, you know what? Let's get to the top of this thing and plop her down as slowly as we can get there. Hmm, we're a bit far. Player didn't want to go. I'm still able to sleep. Now let's just check to be sure we're not... Okay, we're not surrounded by things that could kill us. Okay, let's not keep bouncing off the edge there. All right, now the question is, will the boat be there when we get out of it? Okay, yeah, I can. It didn't look like it was going to be big enough for the boat to get through, but it was. And busted another portal. It's still there. This is an interesting way to do it. Unfortunately, it's buried. Oh, there's the chest. Just grab this for insurance. We could definitely go there again. stronghold. Yeah, it was just making it pretty, I guess. Ooh, fell in. That could have been a bad thing. Actually, let's just plop it in. Board the boat. Yeah, the boat anyway. It still exists. Okay, this way. Yeah, you can keep going. Alright, so... Yeah, we can plop something there. jump. Here yeah, you can go. And I came across a village. How much of it, I don't know. Definitely need beds. Could use bread. Because we now, like I say, every time we successfully get anywhere, we have to pretty much give up. Okay, it's not a smithy that I'm looking for. I know I have the obsidian, but... Ooh, this is not looking good.
All right, so it's a little less now. All right, that wasn't all too bad considering. I forget if I have emeralds. I apparently don't. I also should be moving those. Getting close on the bed count here. And I guess we got enough of them. Alrighty. So we're about halfway, halfway through our, our give or take uh, big push because the weather didn't stink. So we have, so we only have this and the laundromat. I like how the, I like how they have recovered quite a bit. It was smart that they put a drop ceiling in. I mean, a drywall one would be the best looking, but as I've said, it's been known, the roof there has been known to leak quite a bit, so. Probably smartest thing to do is to put in a drop ceiling so if it leaks, you just replace a tile instead of going through the cumbersome task of replacing a whole ceiling. Of course this had to happen. How else would have gone? Oh, drop. Yeah, let's just hit every available corner so we just... Okay, this is, this is where we could have successfully gone up. All right. That helps. We can go. And we can... Yeah, eat the food. Just want to eat the food button. Might need eat the food. There you go. Yep. Next. Next. Another village. Another massive drop. We can uh, sleep in a bed. I just love how the math errors are bad enough right now that most of these animals are unable to move east or west. They just jump at the edge if they have to climb. All right, we're looking for a smithy if we can just move the player. More bread. Right, we can keep going. It's funny how the villages seem to always be in really terrible landforms. Just kind of spread out one. Another piece of bread. Sun's not really at a good angle yet. These villages can't seem to boy three of these buildings emerald that helps all right let's see if we can find a find a farmer there should be a farmer in here there's typically a farmer Now, if I get that guy mad by hitting anything, he'll be able to move fast enough to break free. We don't have any, uh, no, no farmers. None that are here on terra firma.
All right, let's move. Hey, the sun's starting to head down, so. Uh, this one's not one we can use. These, I forget what they are. Okay, smithy table. But not the smith that we want. All right, we've seen enough, and it's getting dark. So we can move. More emeralds. Another piece of bread. We now need to be moving. Okay, how come now I can't find a house with a bed in it? Okay, a little more than halfway through. 33, not too bad. Drop. No pain. Alrighty, nothing really there. That was painful. Wow, another village right there. Yeah, that's the thing about this game's ridiculously bad, uh, bad uh, outward distortion is I don't see something in the middle I don't know what it is I can put it in the corners of the view and it'll stretch out so much we can see what it is and it's another village not all that far from the village we already been but as you know we can see the other one of course if I crank the render distance we definitely could but yeah Definitely can see it. But we're trying to keep it well, somewhat close to how it's been done. I mean, we, 14 is not an option. And four chunk uh, simulation distance we try for so it doesn't make. So the file size stays smaller. There's nothing really here. So all the terrain it generates, if it ain't within the four chunk zone that I'm in, more or less, it's not saved to a file. And we can go that much longer without purging. Of course, when it gets too big, then it, where it starts sputtering a lot, that's... Kind of when it's, it's time to consider purging the world. Which is way better, I mean, way easier to do in Bedrock than it is in Java. Java, you got the main, you have the uh, spawnable chunk area, which you can't get rid of. And if, if you do, it spends time recreating them, which makes the load time a lot longer. And... Then it makes a connection between that and where you are, even if you delete everything in between. It just winds up being an unplayable, unplayable misadventure, which is why the Java version of this was stopped at, what, about 400,000 blocks or so. All right. I wonder where the dark spot might be. Could it be here? All right. Get rid of this. Get rid of that. Take these things. We can make a pickaxe pick if we go to the nether. I'm trying to say pickaxe. Good luck with that. Oh, wait a minute. Another one. All right. We got too much gold at this point. So, at this point, I'm going to temporarily get rid of the bed and press buttons. Oh, 
Oh, that's a ruined portal. I just saw a black and gray thing and I was thinking... Alright, I'm not going to be digging for... I'm not going to be digging for the chest. And another village. Boy, the villages are coming quite often. See, you know, it'd be funny if there's a uh, savannah village that's right behind there. And no, uh, desert one again, smithies. We are looking for not a big deal if we don't get any. I know there's bread in the towers usually, but it ain't enough to care. So. Yeah, we got plenty of beds, so just zooming by anything that ain't a smithy. Yeah, okay. Uh -huh. At any moment now, we should have it area in which we can move in our in the direction we want to be moving there we go all right is there a way to get all right i'd like to be able to move So, okay, run. Ran in the river instead of hitting land. That's weird. It actually went right. Okay. Cave. Don't want. Skeleton definitely don't want issues with those. Alright, what I would like is for the land to cooperate more towards that end. Away from... Away from being away... slam all right you're getting a little closer that's it's we're not too bad off now just like to try to keep it as close to where we the you know the origin as we can as we can because it just makes everything go faster if we're taking big wide detours like we did to get before we started moving again just now that's taking time. That's time that could be used trying to go for the, you know, go for the field of dreams here. The field with the stripes of missing land, which is so far away. And I am not running. As I tried to move to the side. We 
man, I thought I saw another village. But you know, it's just the top of a top of one of these weird hills. Okay, there. Regain some of the health. Yeah, I mean, if we don't make 937, something went very wrong. Every time I hear high pitch beeps out there, I'm not sure if it's a tow truck because there is a garage next to the house or apartment building that I live in. bed. Don't have to use one of ours. We saved our spot. All right, now to see if there's a farmer. We're not going to spend too much time looking. In fact, that little time. Didn't see any smithy, so move on. All right, so no smithy there. I mean, I got 34 obsidian. I mean, we don't really need, don't really need one. Oh, like I said, I mentioned this before. I'm not sure if it was purely by accident, if it were a weird glitch in the matrix. But I swear on a touch screen, there is a way to split stacks. I'm, as I've done it, it's very hard. And another village. How are we not at 937 already? Probably because that long digging in the nether. Remember, if we don't see any farmers or any smithies, which are very, they apparently are very rare in these type of villages. Like this guy over here. We get close enough to him. Get away from him, so when I touch the screen, I don't wind up whacking him with the sword. I don't want to do that. Because there's a golem right there. He would be angry. He'd be able to go fast enough to break the chains of the chains of restrictions from being from being so far out from the zero point of the world. 936 almost. This is the second time in a row that at one of these desert temples is actually accessible from the front door. All right, more of that, which is good. Put that away. We don't need it. We got more than enough of that. So once again, we're going to take our bed position. 
and use it to get our way out of here. We can run. Then we can go like this and put a bed in hand. There we go. Actually, we're not that far off center now. Pretty good. And head towards there because it's seems to be the least. Yeah, we're not gonna go for the one that, area that looks okay. That wasn't a hole. We didn't go there because it looked like there was a hole there. village and this one does have a smithy now that's all we care about We don't have uh, we don't have emeralds, so yeah, the rest don't really matter too much right now. Just out of curiosity, if I took this, I I did it before. I don't know how. I was able to split stacks I think I was only six I know I successfully did it once but I think I did it once before not a hundred percent on that why we pay attention and not go looking around so we don't wind up falling through cracks and speed swimming should have just went up this thing as in spite of how it looked like you could just easily bypass it but you really couldn't uh, yeah. and that's just gross incompetence how did I think I was close enough to the water I could have just dropped in like that How did we not clear 10,000 blocks? How did we not clear that? 
Maybe it was the long digging in the nether. But again, that helps us with... And I think we could have just went the next time because we were still in the uh, Crimson Forest, which is the name of the forest I totally forgot as I was there. I always forget. I always call it the red place, the green place. So, yeah, right here. Yeah, it's not quite an hour yet, so. We'll go for one more sleep cycle. Uh, was there land over there? We didn't, we didn't claim it yet, so. I thought I saw land over there. We'll not go very far. Okay, we see it over there. This is pushing it. Yep, the boat's still there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that there. Put this here. X a little too many times. We're good. I think an hour is about... Okay, let's be sure we're aimed properly so we can see where we are. Yeah, we're at 10k right now. Will this be big? Okay, I was gonna say, will this one be big enough? Now this you could clearly tell. It may possibly not have been until you got up close enough to see it. So we've made the 10k, which is good. But you know what? Let's see if we can push it a hair further along. So it's that much more distance we've covered. Because we're only about seven and a half percent of the way there once we hit a million. And we are getting semi close to, you know, semi close to that. 940 ish is not all that far off. I'm just calling it 940 ish because I'm, I'm rounding up. Another broken portal. We are definitely going to stop there. In fact, maybe if it's not much of a project, we'll build it. Put stuff in the chest and give it another shot. Wait and see. Yeah, that's a buildable one. Hmm, maybe not, but that boat disappeared. Golden carrots don't care too much about that. Wait, this I'm not really, yeah, I'm not really crazy about this one. It's over lava, but... 
we'll take the sand and make it right. Or dirt. So, you know, this over here, this over there, that there. I'm going to put a few beds here. Take. Okay, I'm going to take this bed and hope that it actually keeps the spawn point. Anything else we need to put away? All right, we. Hmm. Yeah. I like being without food, but there's, those are a dime a dozen. We'll see where this goes at the laundromat. Another nether cliffhanger. Don't you just love those? Well, I bet you can tell we're at the laundromat. And funny thing is, somehow I actually started in the portal, even though I wasn't there. You saw that. But let's see what we got. We got, let's see if we're anywhere good. I think we still were. You know what we said before? Oh, get out, 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 get out. Of course not. Of course you don't get out. That would be wrong. You know what? See if we can get some of the stuff back. It's not going to be worth it. And we're not moving. Seriously, again. You know what? Screw it. Nope, we're done. I'm not going to go there. Take the beds. Once again, dying twice, because God forbid something were to go right. All right. Oh, we did lose those. Okay. Give. All right, we do have what we want. Now let's put the food here. Put the bed here. Put these two here. We need the player. That would be a new one.
one more. Sun's setting, so let's just make the most of it. So let's start all over. Yep. Place. Okay, we need to be moving. Let's try that. See if something can go the right way now. player. Try a new thing. Yeah, I should have listened to my advice from a while ago. And I didn't do it. Okay, no, we're gonna sticks. I'm gonna make stone sword. Not the best thing. This can go here. That can go. Alright, that has to go there. This will go away. No. Actually, we're gonna need that. The thing was, over the ocean obviously, and the basalt deltas don't go, but stupid me, I went anyway. I deserve to have lost everything and not care to try and get it back. See if we can get to 948. Then we can say we made decent distance. And what stinks is that I've mentioned it so many times here at this particular laundromat, the secret dryer, the one that you get a lot more time for a lot less money, is being used. since we are pretty much landlocked. Let's see if there's any coal over here. Oh, disappears, because that's what happens. All right. question is, will we ever have a good run ever again? Because it doesn't seem that the answer is yes. We always have to die multiple times now, which is very annoying.
one seems to be problematic, so let's skip that. up doing another DG. Oh, it also helped our, our uh, villages. And here we go with the portals. Temporarily have that, so this, this, and that'll go there. I see zombies, we can move. I see zombies, we can move. There you go. Must have been an opening somewhere. Okay, now I could use a village. And food. Technically, I didn't need to really do that. Always on the wrong timing there. Use some villages now. So that means there is one. Here we are. Let's move the player. Let's move the player. Okay, that's someone else winding down, not mine. Let's okay, not good. I like moving. I like moving. Why am I not moving? For now, we'll take. 
take it. It's something. Our villager friends, it's not good. We can lose the player. was actually pretty helpful. Some buildings I thought weren't actually were. And we can move the player. Getting pretty close to uh, thing finishing off, so nine thousand blocks. Well, let's see if we can make it. And we're back. 
this is going to be a challenge. Because, as I said, we didn't, we are not getting the, uh, not getting the secret dryer, so. I know I could put a, instead, I could pay two and a quarter and get roughly maybe an extra minute, like, the secret dryer, but not gonna pay it. The extra the extra time from 48 to 55 is a bonus. The 48 generally does the job. Let go. Another ruined portal. Boy these things are showing up all of a sudden. And we can go like this. we do that? Can we just do one thing right? Can we get one thing right? We need to start moving the game. Move. Jump. 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 Should be obvious the jump button means jump.
where somebody had to turn the TV on. But it shouldn't be recognizable right now. Use another village just to safeguard things a little bit. Free beds are also a plus. And Let's see if we can get to that island over there. Looks like we're gonna just have to stand behind the wall to keep the TV out of, uh, yeah, somewhat not audible. You can hear the dryers running in the background. Okay, how about up? There we go. Place a bed. We can hit this button to grab things. Then we hit this button here. We're hitting a button. Okay, how about actually hit the right button? That might help. Helps to press right buttons at times. So let's just tried, therefore we fail. The regaining plus not getting the secret drive kind of hurts it a little bit too. The boating does help a little bit because that means we don't have to rely as much on foot traffic and it's also faster. Well, if we had a dolphin, we could go ever so slightly faster than this, but that's relying on something that may not happen. 941. Oh yeah, I don't think we're going to pick it. There's another nether portal, but it's underwater, so it's not worth it. I got enough iron that I could make an iron sword, but... Right now the idea is to get the momentum back in gear. We could use a farmer villager and that'll put our food back.
it's not that much longer. 37 minutes on the dryer instead of 39 when I last looked, when it changed to 38. Another mushroom island. If the sun were setting, then you could go there. Use it to traverse, but not necessary. There goes some standing. You're next to the dryer access door, so you know, drown out the TV. Not the most interesting thing to listen to, obviously. You know, one of these days we'll have an episode where things go right. That would be an interesting one, wouldn't it? It's almost nice and straight. Very, very difficult to do in a touch configuration. I think our luck might be ending. Yeah, it's just going to spread out. No boat. And the jump while starting to run on the ice just gets the guy up to speed a lot quicker. It's the only reason to do that. Polar bear. No kid in tow, so we should be fine. village way over there you could maybe get a free bed and steal more beds maybe find a villager that we can trade bread with and run ruin the swim Smithies will help get us back on track, and I've seriously got to listen to myself. Basalt deltas, no. And there's a smithy. But no, I went and tried to maneuver it, and then... The monsters came out to play and ruined everything. Here we we'll go this way. That helps. This will help. That will help. That can help.
Mister. Now to get up here and check the rest of it out. Yeah, we can move the player. This was a bigger village than what it was. We've been there. Okay, that's not gonna work. We can move the player. We stole the bed from there. Not gonna work. We can move. Boy, you are not doing anything. It's night. Okay, the sun might be a little. There we go. Keep that bed, leave that one alone. You can run the player. when they stand where they shouldn't. He's not chasing me anyway. we discovered, the attempt of getting a horse is actually more of a burden than a help. And another village. And, yeah, we're good with so we're looking for food. Not the most dire of straits. Again, looking for the smithies. One more bed. Good in that department. Smithy. Alright, we got that. More bread. And yeah, we can grab. We can grab. There we go. Grab things. We like it when that happens. Now we can make that for whenever we go to the nether. Okay, we need to go away and or boat now we can make that go away we can hit 
get the X. Now this disappear. This goes. Actually, they'll swap. Now everything's back to normal. Now the question is, can we actually get anywhere? Turn. We had a decent food count. We'll go with it. So why, why the, that's not what I wanted. Let's just make everything harder. Yep, we jump in place. That's the, what I wanted. Okay, we're pretty much at keel now. The torch in hand so we can See for things further away where the uh, sword could be blocking our view. And we're not moving in the right direction at all. We can move the player. pretty much just ruined this entirely by not listening to my own advice and going in the wrong direction. I knew it was going too well when things seemed to have been going smooth. That going the wrong way, that's why. Oh yeah, we're not gonna make it. We can pretty much kiss 948 goodbye. Call ever accepting caves and cliffs. Of course, that happened. At least it wasn't where we were. That's a good thing. Because that would have been death number three, and hey, why not? I'm gonna fail, might as well fail miserably. Running. 
got a village way out there. Now we're at the point that smithies are pretty much the only thing that matter. Or any chests with food in it. We can move the player. That's a good start. Move the player. find a building with a bed like this one. are coming, so let's put this on. Oh yeah, why not throw the lava in? That's, that's what we need. Over here. see a desert village now. Okay, can we just make progress? I mean, ultimately, if we're at 946 or so at the end, then we've done a decent job. Not the best, but... That one's buried, so that's a waste of time. Alright, we are looking for smithies and one bed. That will not help. These villagers are always trapped in their own buildings. We can move the player.
This one does have a golem, so. Okay, let's just look. Yeah, nothing here. Of course, we land where the one place I didn't want to. Can you jump, jump, yep, jump. So about 12 useful minutes, we can probably, okay. All right, I thought I saw another portal, but I was wrong. You're over here where there's, and the TV's sound is blocked. We can run, which will help. So we've made a pretty decent recovery. We're not 100% there yet, but we're getting there. Now the question is, will the boat remain when we get out of it?
done craptacularly well this time. And dolphins help. We are at 946, but yeah. We were at 947. With nearly an hour and a half time, and we didn't even make 10k. That's pretty bad. We might have to turn around because the sun's setting and I don't see any usable land. Although I could take some. Oh, there's something. That sucks you down. Not willing to try that. Not willing to go anywhere near that. You know, it might even make the 10k. Ever so slightly. to do that. Pants are on. I think I know how the game works at this point. Might suck at it, but I know how it works. Alright. Time to squeak in maybe acceptable performance. Probably wouldn't count it as that. some massive progress. I mean, we're definitely... And definitely 20,000. But... Not very good. Very poor run. Doesn't seem the land was very cooperative either time. This time it's the laundromat run that went to hell instead of the run, you know, the big Thursday push. Either way, still two deaths because can't do one of these without that happening anymore. Alright, now we're at 947. Seven minutes to go in the dryer. I should have just turned around and headed back. Oh, but that land, that basalt land actually looked doable. Nope. If it's basalt, turn back in. Call it good. Mesa 
Yeah, like that's what I really needed right now. If there's any type of mess that's a progress killer, it's the Mesa. Times it's a good thing, this is not one of those times. In this particular objective, it's definitely not one of those times. If it were a survival world, it'd be great. That is, if you like to build with that stuff, which I do. to hit one of these mountains. case over here we can start with. Yeah, let's not bounce on every corner. Alright, we're gonna have to call it quits. Especially with one minute left on the dryer. Oh, the fun and the joy this continuation is gonna be. Make it an even 948-100. All right, that's gonna be a fun place to pick up off. So that's this edition of one way, not really 
Not really fantastic with progress, but almost at nine and a half million. Georgia551 saying hope you enjoyed at my expense and have a good one.